Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and this yoga flow is perfect to wind down after a long day of work. Maybe you feel like you need to recharge a little bit and just yeah, re-energize. So yeah, let's get started. And we begin sitting on the shins, so bringing the hips onto the heels. If that gives you any pain in the knees, just find a normal cross-legged seat and then roll your shoulders up towards the ears. Bring your hands onto the thighs with the palms facing upwards. Closing your eyes and starting to feel into the body. Observing how your breath is flowing right now. And right away bringing a bit more depth to your breathing. So finding fuller inhales in and deeper exhales out. With the next inhale, start to lift the chin away from the chest, sending the head back, finding some traction in the throat here. And gently lowering the head down, bringing the chin to your chest, rounding the neck. Inhale back to center, bringing the right ear over the right shoulder, feeling into the left side of the neck. Maybe you want to extend the left arm long as if you're searching for something on the floor next to you. Feel the stretch. And then come back to center and bring the left ear over the left shoulder. Extending the right arm long this time. Breathing into the right side of your neck. And then bring the hand back to your thigh. Bring the head back to center. Bring the hands onto your knees and start to find a cow tilt in your spine, lifting the gaze up with the inhale, arching the spine and exhale, rounding, sending the spine back. Inhale, open up, lift the gaze and exhale to round out of the shoulder blades. One more inhale, find your cow tilt and exhale for cat, rounding back. Coming back to your neutral spine, planting the right palm down into the mat next to you, reaching the left arm along the left ear, finding a side bend here. I'm just moving to the side so you can see a bit better. Reaching through the left arm, stretching into the side, inhale, reaching up, and exhale over to the left, bringing the left palm down and reaching the right arm along and finding a stretch in the right side body and inhale back to center coming to our tabletop bringing the hands underneath the shoulders the knees are directly underneath the hips inhale drop your belly and find your cow tilt exhale to round the spine press into the mat with your palms inhale drop the belly lift the gaze and exhale to round With the next inhale, come back to your cow pose and stay there, keeping the hips over the knees, walking the hands to the front of the mat and start to melt the chest down, either bringing the chin into the mat or the forehead, finding puppy's pose, feeling the stretch in the upper arms, the neck, the forearms all the way into the fingertips, breathing deeply. And you can stay here if you like. If you want to go a bit deeper into the shoulders, you can start to come onto the elbows and bring the chin into your palms, maybe sending the hips a little bit further forward to bring the chest a bit closer towards the mat. And then breathing here into the neck, the throat, 
and slowly lower the forearms down and come to lie down bringing the fingertips underneath the shoulders and opening the legs as wide as the mat from here start to press into the fingertips inhale lift the chest up lift the head up and exhale start to roll all the way back down head lowers last inhale press into the fingers lifting up lift the head and exhale to lower last cobra roll here inhale lifting up open the chest and exhale melting all the way back down and then extending the arms in a capital T shape bringing the legs back together and then start to roll onto the right side so using the left arm to roll onto the right hip maybe you want to step the left foot behind the right leg maybe you can even bend into both knees and reach the left arm back to grab for opposite wrists here and slowly start to bring the left hand back extending both legs long again rolling onto the belly and switching sides so press into your right fingertips and roll onto the left hips maybe you can step the right foot behind the left maybe even stepping the left foot into the mat as well and then reaching the right arm towards the left if you cannot reach the hand it doesn't matter you can also just keep the right hand on the right hip and then slowly start to roll back onto the belly extending the legs long and we'll just do the same thing again but this time we're gonna bend into the elbows so bringing both arms into a cactus shape and rolling again onto the right hip this might now feel completely different in the right shoulder so a different kind of stretch stay for one more breath and exhale slowly rolling back onto the belly and rolling onto the left hip so the left arm is bent like a cactus shape stay for your breath here inhale into the left shoulder and with the next exhale rolling back onto the belly and from here we find our locust so interlacing the hands behind the spine bringing the palms to touch and inhale lifting the chest off the mat draw arms back shoulders back lifting the hands up and away from the spine and if it feels good in your lower spine you can also start to lift the feet off the mat staying for one more inhale lifting a little bit higher and exhale to lower down release the hands bringing the palms underneath the shoulders and pressing back up to a tabletop position so hands underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips and we set up for our first down dog walking the hands a bit further into the mat tuck the toes under and start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling and the priority here is to keep a really long spine so we want to find maximum length in the spine you can even keep a slight bend in the knees with the next inhale reaching the right leg up three-legged dog exhale bring the knee to your nose and then lower the right shin into the mat extending the left leg long behind setting up for our pigeon pose coming onto the fingertips lifting the chest up and then start to fold the upper body onto the right shin lowering the forehead down you can bring the forehead onto the mat or onto your palms and then start to fully surrender to the stretch breathing deeply into the outer right hip and with the next inhale start to press back into your palms lifting yourself back up and from here just roll onto the right sit bone extending the left leg long and bringing the right sole of the foot into the inner left thigh and bring the left elbow to the inner thigh as well and reach the right arm along the right ear finding an extension through the whole right side of the body and the goal here is not really to reach the right hand to the foot but to find an opening through the chest so keep drawing that right shoulder back take a full inhale 
and with the exhale sweep the right palm back behind you into the mat or the floor and inhale lifting the hips up reaching the left arm back exhale lowering the hips back down inhale sweep the arm back lifting the hips and exhale to lower last one inhale reaching back and exhale to lower back down and then turn the whole upper body towards the left foot lifting the arms up on the inhale and exhale folding over the left leg getting hold of the foot the ankle or the shin finding length in the spine breathing into the left hamstring and slowly coming out of the stretch and lifting back up cross the ankles roll over your knees and start to make yourself back into downward facing dog lifting the hips up high long spine inhale lift the left leg up three-legged dog exhale bring the left chin down into the mat extending the right leg long behind and lifting up onto the fingertips inhale in exhale folding over the left chin and bringing the forehead down melting into the floor feeling the stretch in the outer left hip and lifting all the way back up and from here rolling onto the left sit bone extending the right leg long and bringing the left foot onto the inner left thigh the right elbow comes to the inner thigh as well and we reach the left arm along the left ear and find that extension through the whole left side of the body the left waist letting the head hang heavy inhale in and with the exhale bring the left palm behind you press into the hand and inhale reach the hips up reach the right arm back and exhale lowering back down into the mat inhale lifting up and reaching back finding that openness exhale lowering down and last time lift your hips expand through the whole front side body and then lowering all the way back down and facing towards the right leg extending the right leg long and inhale reaching the arms up exhale folding over the right thigh and if you feel like this is very intense you can also keep a bend in the right knee to bring the stomach to touch the thighs that helps to keep a bit more length in the spine and it still gives a very deep stretch to the right hamstring so breathing fully into the back of the right thigh and then lifting back up and extending both legs long in front reaching the arms in front as well and rounding through the spine and starting to lower down vertebrae by vertebrae pausing a moment to take a breath and then rolling all the way down into the mat bending the knees and then straightening the legs up to the ceiling finding viparita karani easy legs up the wall letting the blood flow into the opposite direction and then reaching the arms up as well and finding some movement through the wrists the ankles and hug your knees into your chest bring the forehead to your knees and hug yourself into a tiny little ball and then start to lower the whole body down into the mat extending the legs wide arms resting by your sides with the palms facing up letting the whole body melt down into the mat letting go of any restrictions to the breath and then bringing some awareness to 
the third eye point between the eyebrows on the forehead and bringing some relaxation and some ease to that area. Relaxing the forehead, the eyelids, the cheeks, the nose, the lips. The whole face is fully relaxed. Relaxing the collarbones, the chest, the shoulders, the upper arms, the forearms, all the way down into the palms and the fingertips. Relaxing the whole spine, the stomach area, the hips, the pelvic floor, relaxing the thighs, the kneecaps, the shins and the calves, all the way into the ankles, the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet, into the toes, feeling the whole body in a state of complete relaxation seizing in all the benefits from our practice. And then start to bring some movement back into the fingertips and the toes, reaching the arms up above the head, finding a full body stretch. And then bend into your knees and start to roll onto your right side using the right arm as a pillow for your head and just staying one more moment in this cozy position thanking the body for the practice and then use your left palm to press yourself back up onto a seated position keeping the eyes still closed or gaze lowered and bringing the hands in front of the heart and then lift the hands up to your third eye point for clear and kind thoughts lower the hands in front of the lips to speak kind words and then bring the hands back to heart center to feel and give love and kindness Thank you so much for practicing with me. I'll see you in the next one. P.S. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. There are new videos every week. And find me on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you.